Right guys, we're, we're here. Uh, the first video is a little bit out of focus, so I've missed the bit of me putting the actual carbon in, but uh, Mr. French is having a bad day on, on the video. Yeah. You can't get the staff, guys, you know what I mean? If you pay peanuts, you get monkeys, don't you? I'm gonna fire Mr. French, so he's out. I'm putting some adverts out for a new cameraman. He must stress. Right, people, here we are. This is my what I was molding the other day. You've seen that? You basically, cut those in half so they can slip in to the back of my hatch. There, you see, making sense now. Eh? I just want to stick those in there and then I'll do the middle one. These are my middle, you know, I made that L, that big L piece. Uh, they've got to go a lot smaller yet. Okay, guys, so they're stuck it in, hard to see, but they're in there. That'll go off slowly like the normal resin with um, I chop some carbon up into the resin. This is the stuff that just lets you put a bit of your own carbon in there, chopped up. I'm going to do the middle hatch uh, once, you know, I'll do this one, let this start gelling up, tacking up here before I mess about too much with the other one. Once we're done with these hatches, we're on our way. We're on our way to Everdeedy. Here we are. I put in my moulded pieces in the back of the, of the hatch there. I've got to come in and do my two little holes so that these can fit in. I've got the mask on in case you're wondering. Dremel. And here we go. Like a glove, guys. Like a glove. Two bits of carbon stuck in the holes there. That's it. And then I'll cut all that off, trim that up, and the cover will fit in there beautifully. All right. All right okay. I've got my round cut a bit in the drill. I've marked my hatch holes. Put that in the bore mark where I wanted them behind this lip here. Hopefully, it looks good. I've just started just to mark them with this. I know. I'm going to see if I can get through one. I can get through one, I'll get through more. It's just a grinder bit, hole cutter grinder. So I'm just going to go through, hopefully grind away the carbon. Okay, now I'm just starting to see I'm coming through the bottom. So I'll go the other way. There we go, one hole done. Fairly nice and easy. I'll do these four holes in both hatches and I'll be back in a minute. All right, that worked out better than I thought. Well, kind of hoping that's how it would work. I've got four holes now. I can uh, have a go now at fitting these, these handles. Just got to enlarge slightly round with a round file. Get these fitting in snug so that this rests flush. But happy days, got my holes. 
made myself found a lid, stuck some sandpaper on the end so I can carve now a divot down into my lid and keeping it uh, square. The lid's got a curve to it so I've got to carve it out so that it sits square into the hole. It's a little bit of a long process but we'll get going with it and then you just keep turning. I'm well up there and you're well up there and you just carving away it's starting to get there now you see so basically I've carved more out on one side on the on the side that it's bent so that it will stay horizontal but I'll keep going with that all right and I'll do all four of them okay guys done my holes mix some resin I've cut the best bit of carbon I can get out of my my reel because it had some pulled strands from the factory, you know, from when they rolled it up. So I've got my holes done, chamfered, a bevel round the at round them. Very nice, I'm happy with that. So there you go, my holes are done, my indents are done for my latches. For now, there's my two hatches carboned. And here we are, building our board, it's coming on. I'll be back with the next step, guys. Take it one day at a time, keep it real, keep it raw, keep it wriggling. All right, see you soon.